Hi. Actually, lots of people asked me to make videos on average. So average as a concept is very simple, but I think they are facing problem in solving questions based on average. So we will just brush up with the concept. We will just do it in the shortcut and then we are going to solve few problems in this video and next few videos also. So suppose if you have n terms, suppose if you have term one, term two, term 3 and you have terms till n then average of these terms will be the sum of these terms divided by number of terms so this is average there is some martial art class and suppose there are four children and their ages are 10 and 8 and 12 and there is another child whose age is 10 so the average age of that class if I want to find I have to add all these ages and then I'll divide it by 4 so if I add it 8 plus 12 is 20 and 10 plus 10 is 20 20 plus 20 is 40 divided by 4 so 10 years will be the average age of that martial art class very easy concept so let's directly jump to solving questions I'm going to take two questions in this video. Let me take the first one. So here we have the first question and after this we are going to take the second question. The first question says average mass of three friends was 60 kgs. After another friend joins the average of their masses becomes 57 kgs. What is the mass of the last friend? Here we have three friends. So let me assume them as friend one, friend two and friend 3 and let F1, F2, F3 be their respective masses. The average of their masses that means F1 plus F2 plus F3 divided by 3 is equal to 60 kgs. And after another friend joins the average of their masses becomes 57 kgs. So suppose the mass of friend 4 is F4 and when this fellow joins the average becomes that means F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4 divided by 4 becomes 57 kgs. Then we have to find the mass of the last friend. That means we have to find the weight of this fellow. From here, we can say F1 plus F2 plus F3 is equal to 60 multiplied by 3, which is 6 threes are 18 and 0, 180. If I substitute the value of F1 plus F2 plus F3 over here, I can find the value of F4. In place of F1 plus F2 plus F3, I am going to write 180 plus F4 divided by 4 is equal to 57. Or you can say 180 plus F4 is equal to 57 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 7 fours are 28. To carry it forward, 5 fours are 20 plus 2, 228. So from here, you can say F4 is equal to 228 minus 180 that is 48 kgs right so quite simple you just have to do what the statement is saying and you can find the result within seconds so let's take another question and here we have another question the question is average of five numbers is 20 if you assume numbers as n1 n2 n3 n4 n5 then n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 plus n5 divided by 5 is equal to 20 or you can say n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 plus n5 is equal to 100. 20 multiplied by 5 is 100. The average becomes 18 if one of the numbers is changed to 4. What was the original value of that number? So suppose I change n1 to 4 then the average becomes 18 so if I write 4 in place of n1 and then n2 n3 n4 and n5 will remain as it is divided by 5 and the average in this case is 18 that means 4 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 plus n5 equal to 18 multiplied by 5 which is 90 or you can say n2 plus n3 plus n4 plus n5 is equal to 90 
minus 4 or this is equal to 86. If I substitute the value of n2 plus n3 plus n4 plus n5 over here in this equation, I can easily find the value of n1. This equation, if I call it equation number 1, this will become n1 plus 86 equal to 100 or from here you can say n1 is equal to 100 minus 86 which is equal to 14. So the original value of the number which was changed to 4 was 14. So these were two simple questions which we solved and in next few videos we are going to solve few more questions. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.